Hey guys, this is Daniel. So, uh, finally time to play with this M17. Uh, here we go. First thing we're going to do is the uh, bumper mod. Um, if you guys want to, uh, Mikey from Canada Right Balls has uh, really good videos on both of the things I'm getting ready to do first here. Um, I'm not going to talk a lot about any of this because I am basically just following his directions and his videos. So I'm not going to act like I know a whole lot about it other than uh, how to follow directions. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, pop those pins out. We've got a couple of washers here. Turn that over and get, uh, get rid of those puppies. Back over this way. Pull pins out. As always, I apologize for my focus if it, uh, I'm horrible with it. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> this pulls the bolt out. And um, so you get like a bag full of uh, parts with the uh, Valken M17. One of those parts, geez, one of those parts is a new bumper. You just take that bumper and put it on here. You notice there's already two from the factory. So this will just make a third bumper. And uh, according to Mikey, uh, you go cranking up the uh, FPS on this thing without doing that. You get some metal to metal sound and some uh, burping and whatnot. Man, my focus is horrible. Anyway, all right, so that's done. That was really difficult, right? Okay, so uh, 10 millimeter. This is uh, what's called a set screw mod. Jeez, come on. So, now there, there is an o ring under there. You're supposed to be careful with that. So, you get this little puppy here out. Really? And let's see, I'm using a four millimeter hex key, Allen key, whatever. And I'm taking the old set screw out and you can see it is hollow. And then on the inside you have the spring. I was I was kind of thinking Mike said there's a ball bearing to um, come on dude anyway I am not seeing anything else in there um, maybe come out with this okay right. um, so and what we're gonna do is just replace the one skit uh, one set screw with another that does not have a hole in it. Got where lady things. And uh, one of them. Uh, I, just, I actually I just got a whole bag of these off Amazon and it's been a little bit I forgot the even house, but um so I'm going with the uh you know the uh M eight by one point two five by eight and uh, I believe Mikey says on the videos that you can also use the uh, 10 length too, but they'll just stick out a little bit. I went with the shorter one. Okay. Um, oh, I almost forgot something very important. This is some Teflon tape. Very, very important step to this apparently since you're dealing with such ma massively high pressure um, I'm sure it would leak without it
it three times on that. Trying to get any excess off of there. Hopefully that will be enough. If not, we'll hear a leak. Okay. Back in. This is Teflon tape. Okay, torque that down to spec. I know y'all caught that right. All right. Anyway, here we go. I'll put this puppy back in here. Make sure that that O-ring does not get messed up in the process. You guys can see my other the video about the baseline numbers. Um, so, and we'll recap that real quick here. But get that puppy tightened back down. Now, while we're at it, since we uh, since the it's not under any pressure or anything. We're going to go ahead and adjust the feet per second. Uh, Mikey says definitely go slow. Um, so quarter turn at a time and, and while it's not under pressure. So here we go. And this is a three millimeter. I'm really sorry about the focus, guys. But uh, here, uh, whoop. Mm -hmm. I was watching the camera and see what I was doing. All right, so what I'm going to do here, find a place where it's, you know, I'm just going to, there we go. So we're going to do a quarter of a turn. So we're at about one o'clock and, uh, you know, we're going to get about four o'clock. Okay. That is a quarter of a turn clockwise, which is the direction to increase the velocity. All right. And I'll slide this puppy back in. And that's why I'm not a surgeon. Well, you know, and also, you know, the degree and all that. <laughs> all right, there we go. Sorry, that was being a little, a little hateful. Um, <clears throat> anyway, all right, so we got that back going. Um, so we're going to go ahead and throw the, the Ninja Tank. And this is the super high pressure. Got this from Mikey at Canada Riot Balls as well. Um, super high pressure Ninja's putting out like uh, 1100 PSI. So um, definitely better than the 800 or so that the uh, 
HK Army or the uh, uh, Air Venturi that I have put out. So, let's start that. Now, um, I guess I can go ahead and put it on here. All right, before, before I pressurize the bolt, I'll take off the factory barrel. Also from Mikey at Canada Rye Balls, we're going to use this barrel. Put that there for you for a second because I don't do links. It's a 683 rifle barrel. Lapco. So what's happening with this, not only it's, it's rifled, so you're going to get the uh, more stability and everything, but... Um, also, also it is a smaller diameter, uh, so it's a 683, so it's going to be tighter on the balls, so you're going to lose less air around them, uh, be more efficient. Um, so anyway, um, so we got that on. Turn around here, point this puppy in a safe direction. charged okay so uh what i'm gonna do here is do a couple couple of shots of the um, four gram Canada right balls just to see kind of where we're at. Right right now those are my right now these are my faves. I really like these. I really hate my focus but I really like these balls. Alright <clears throat> mag loaded Trying to hurry with this, but I'm wanting to uh, wanting to kind of make it a one-stop shop at least for the, for the first video here. All right. And why that has 956 on it, I don't know because there's nothing I've shot tonight that is 956 feet per second. All right, y'all. I'm going to tell you, I definitely am going to have to use a little more of the Teflon tape. I have a, it's very minor, but I do, uh, I do hear a little bit of a leak. Um, since I've already got it set up, let's go ahead and just see where we're at. So 284. All right, right there, right out the gate. So from 265 to 284. Two eighty nine. It just sounds like it's getting faster. Two eighty four. All right, I'm comfortable with that. Two eighty four, two eighty nine. All right, so uh, so two sixty five um, up to two eighty nine, uh, and that is with the four gram. Sorry, my calculator timed out here.
All right, so right there, we've already went from 11.9 joules to 13.71, all right? So, 13.71. What did I say? 284, actually. That's, that's the calculation for 284. I forgot we actually hit 289. Which would be 14.1. So let's do that. Twenty-nine, fourteen point one. Now, just out of curiosity. Couple burner kinetics. And I'm gonna load up a couple of the heavy counter rod balls. Okay, here we go. And uh, I do want to make a statement. Uh, the 9.9 .9 gram are really much much closer to 10 uh, so a little, little bit uh, off on those calculations really I should be calculating those at 10 alright so uh, first two shots are going to be the 9.9 uh, .9 gram round ball right balls and there we go One sixty six, one sixty one. All right, so one sixty six, one sixty one. All right, so it's twelve point eight, uh, twelve point eight joules. Six twelve point eight joules. Okay, and then this is the burn of kinetics. Three oh seven and three eleven. So that's a 13.4. Okay, so 311 feet per second, 13.4 uh, joules. So, uh, at, you know, off the gate, uh, at, at Mikey's direction, we've done a the bumper mod. We've uh, not done the uh, the shear sim yet, just because I do not have the part to do it. Uh, so I'm not going to do a whole lot of crazy shooting until I get that done. Uh, but we've done the bumper mod. My bad. Um, and we have uh, changed over to a super high pressure uh, Ninja uh, 1100 PSI output tank. And we've changed over to the Lapco um, 8 inch rifle 683 barrel. And as you can see uh you know two two joule gain on the 9.9 .9 gram round ball right balls um so like three it's a three joule gain or i'm sorry two joule gain on the uh two joule gain on the four gram and you know, pretty much that's pretty much it's gonna be just about very neck and neck two joules pretty much all the way across um interesting um so uh what we're gonna do now is we're gonna see what happens to uh turn it up just a scooch more so if you don't have anything in there
We may actually, uh, yeah, actually, um, I'm actually going to uh, pause now. I'm going to refill this tank and fix the uh, the leak on that set screw mod. Uh, minor, but I mean, you can feel it coming out. And we have actually used quite a bit. So we're going to top this baby back off and I'll be right back. 